Hey, what's up guys? This is Ngafara from NKT Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up C++ in Sublime Text 3 on Windows. This video assumes that you already have Sublime Text 3 installed. If not, check out the link in the description below on how to do that. We are going to do this process in three steps, which are firstly, install the C++ compiler. Secondly, set up the environment variables to the compiler. And lastly, configure Sublime Text 3 to compile C++ programs. The first thing that we need to do is to install a C++ compiler. On Windows, there are usually two options, SIGWIN and MinGW. We're going to go with MinGW. So just go to the MinGW website, which is www.mingw.org to download the installer. So in my browser, I just type www.mingw.org. And then when it opens up, just navigate here to where it says downloads and click it. When it opens up, just confirm that the operating system shown here is the operating system you're working on. This is true for me, I'm working from Windows. And then just click on this button here, which says MinGW get setup.exe. So if you click here, it will start the download. And it starts the downloads. Just note where you are saving the downloads because we're gonna need it in the next step. Click on download, and then it starts the download. It's complete now. Please note, this is an online installer, so you need to be connected to the internet to successfully install it. This is why this file we just downloaded is such a small file. So before we continue, I just want to show you a before and after. We need a way to verify that our installation is working. So if you just open command prompt and then type in GCC dash version and then press enter. It's saying that GCC is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. This basically means that we don't have a C++ compiler installed. After we do the installation and we run this command again, we should get the version number of our compiler. So I'm just gonna close this, and this, and then just right click on my file and select show in folder. It will open up in the folder where I downloaded my file. Just double click it to start the installation. Click on install to kick it off. It will show you the installation directory which is C min GW. You can change it here if you want, but I'm going to keep the default. Copy it because we're going to use it in the next step. And then click on continue to start downloading the packages. After it is done downloading the various packages, click on continue. It will show a pop-up window where you have to select the packages you want to install. So we want to select the packages except the ones for ADA and Fortran. So just right click on a package and click mark for installation. Select the next one, do the same thing. We are going to skip ADA and Fortran. So we come to this one and then this one. After that, click on installation and then apply changes and then click on apply. When the installation is complete, we'll see a successful message as shown here. Just click on close to close the dialog and also close this dialog. I will also close this and this. After successfully installing MinGW, we now need to set the environment variable to use GCC and the G++ command from terminal. This allows us to access the compiler from anywhere in our system. So just search for environment variables, open it up and then click on environment variables and then select path here and then click on edit and then click on new and then paste in the path that we copied in the last section and then put in backslash bin click on ok to persist the changes and close the dialogs so ok there ok there and then ok here to verify that this setup worked just open up the command prompt and then type in gcc dash dash version we should get the version number back if our setup was successful as you can see, we got the version number back, which means that we successfully set up our environment variable. Let me just close this. The last thing that we need to do is to configure Sublime Text to use our C++ compiler. We do that by creating a build system. So just open up your Sublime Text, go to Tools, Build System, and then click on New Build System. Delete this default code, and then paste this one. You'll find this code in the description below. Press Ctrl S to save, and then we're going to call this CPP. 
Click on save to save it. With that, we are ready to compile a C++ program. So I'm just gonna close this and open a C++ file that I want to compile. My file is at F, Demos, C++, Hello C++. And then you need to go to Tools, Build System and select CPP, the one we just created. And then to run this file, you just press Control Shift B. As you can see from the output pane, we managed to successfully use C++ in Sublime Text 3 to compile and run the C++ program. Just a side note, this configuration will not work for C++ programs that take in standard input. In the next video, I will show you how to set up Sublime Text to compile C++ programs that take in standard input. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.